Hello everyone and welcome back to Zoo Tycoon. Oh, did you see those little birds that just flew overhead? Oh, that was adorable. And of course, our lovely new Mandy, our Transvaal lion here in Giraffe Horizons, who seems to be feeling pretty happy about her situation. Uh, in fact, I hope... Oh, no way! You guys! Our lions are mating! They are definitely working on having some new babies. Good job, Juliet. I have no idea where Juliet is, but she is our breeding center expert who has been assigned to, or Janet, excuse me. Sorry about that, Janet. But she is our breeding specialist who has been assigned to helping the Transvaal lions think about having some cubs of their own. And she seems to be right on top of things. So hopefully any minute now, we, there we, Oh, oh, a zoo inspector came to check my animals and I didn't even know. <laughs> well, I'm really glad that we keep them in all tip-top shape anyway. And Mandy is now expecting lion cubs for our Transvaal lions, which is very exciting. Oh my goodness, it feels like we can just never keep up with ourselves here in Giraffe Horizons. There is so much to go do, including... Patience! For crying out loud, I don't even have time to like catch up with myself. We need to get a picture of a Thornacroft giraffe. We need to release an animal who is at level 15. And if we release three of them, we're actually going to get a surprise animal, which I think sounds like a lot of fun. And my friends, there's more news. We've been doing fantastic here in Giraffe Horizons, growing our zoo, lion after lion, giraffe after giraffe. But I've gotten a little bit of news that there are new animals that we cannot not even add into our zoo here available in some of the other zoos oh <gasps> joe has just been born what a name for a transvaal lion or uh, a thornicraft giraffe and now penelope in our mossy eye lion about exhibit is already an adult we cannot even oh there's some poop to scoop we can just not even keep up with everything that happens here but give me just a second my friends so there's Cupid, who's now level 15, same with as Pandoria. There's little Sam. Cookie is also level 15. Hades is as well. Goodness, what names they have. Where's the new baby? It wasn't Sam. Is th This is the Thornicraft giraffe exhibit, isn't it? Or am I in a different... Yeah, this is the Thorny Slopes. Hmm. Sam? Maybe he's over here in the mer meerkat pools. Candy, Winter, Colin. Candy, Winter, Colin. Ooh, we need to get some new giraffes in this area. My goodness, how many giraffes do I have? Here, oh, the Mossy Eye Fields. Is he a Mossy Eye baby? Annie, Kinney, Annie, Kinney. Where's the new baby? We were just told there was a new baby giraffe, Joe, born in the Thorny Slopes. These are the Thorny Slopes. I should have two baby giraffes. And I see two baby giraffes. How do I look at you, little guy? Animals, view animals. There's a little Sam. So this is Sam, one of our baby giraffes. There's Hades. Oh, there's Joe! <gasps> Maybe he was just coming out of the little cave. Look at him! Oh, isn't he the most precious little tyke? Oh my gosh. But alright guys, so as I was just saying, I have found out that if we do want to add in some of the new animals to our zoo, you can only get them through another zoo. And I think, although I am enjoying the beautiful sunsets, the eternal sunsets, here in Giraffe Horizons, it would be so much fun to be able to gather up a tower of giraffes, which, by the way, is the plural noun for giraffes, the tower of giraffes. Um, but I would love to gather up a tower of the giraffes that we have born here in Giraffe Horizons, like adorable little Joe, and send this tiny little creature to a new zoo, one of our new zoos, that we could open up in another part of the world so that in the future we can actually start exchanging different types of animals. Because as you guys have probably noticed, it feels like we're really, really limited on what kind of new animals to be able to adopt and add in into our zoo and that is because we are we cannot get alpacas bears cougars jaguars kangaroos llamas tigers those are some really amazing animals i would like to add and then there's other species like we can have quite a few species of giraffe here in our beautiful giraffe horizons except for the rothschild 
The Rothschild is a rare species. I think we can actually get that level 32, but the Angolian giraffe and the West African giraffe, we have to get from another zoo. Uh, so we will eventually have to go to another zoo to have a, the complete collection of giraffes, but we're working on it. And you know what? We could probably mix in some giraffes between the lion exhibits. I kind of want to have a big mixed exhibit right here. So maybe we'll go ahead and add in, hmm. Maybe a common species, like the South African giraffe, which is quite common around here, apparently. Guests will like it, but they won't be over-enthusiastic. But we could add in a giraffe species and mix it with one of our new antelopes. Some of the rare antelopes, like the Arabian Ornix antelope, which would be quite cool. So we might do that. Four species, four animals in there, I mean. And then we'll add in... Three. Ooh, that would actually really get us quite to the top of what we could fit in here, but it might be a fun mixed exhibit and we could always start moving a few of them to different areas. Uh, and then what are some other species that we can't add in that I really want to? Because there's quite a few, like alpacas would be adorable. We can get quite a few rhinos actually, but not the Indian rhino or the Javan rhino. Uh, or the Sumatran rhino, what the heck? There's also the Asiatic lion, which I would love to add. It's very a distinctive subspecies of lion, barbarian lion, West African lion. So, oh, and then of course, a ton of the other things that we cannot add. Oh, I forgot we have a little baby savanna there. Uh, but a ton of the other things that we cannot add are actually the animals who would live here inside of the mini exhibits. And I kind of feel like having a little tropical pool, like a little oasis, sort of plopped down right here. If I can just fit it in, yes! <laughs> Look at that. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. We will probably have to add things for the guest at some point too. No! Why do I always do that? Oh, <laughs> I ruin our paths every time. Okay, carefully connect here. Carefully connect there. Excellent. But like with these mini exhibits, there are a lot of animals I cannot add in. Red pandas, porcupines, large water snakes, caiman, uh, bitterongs, binturongs, which are really cool. I know very little about them, but I've heard more about them recently. And I can't even add in like the American flamingo. We can get the lesser flamingo in here though. Let's go ahead and do some research on the lesser flamingo. And we'll look we'll to adding that one in in just a second. Oh yes, yeah, so we have a whole bunch of challenges I'm supposed to be doing. Quickly! A picture of our brand new, adorable, thorny calf giraffe. The calf giraffe, you might say. Oh, he's so cute. Look at him. Oh, he's precious. I love it. Okay. Yay! All right. The newspaper's thrilled. They have gone ahead and paid us quite a bit. And before we add in some new animals, we probably should make room by allowing some of our older animals to be released into the wild. They have all the food. Ah, ah, that's so cute! Oh my gosh, the baby is playing with its parent! Code Red, this is the most precious and adorable thing I have seen in ever! I am in love, but just think of it guys! Oh, We can make gifts of our giraffes to other zoos and that would make me so happy. Alright, so how are we going to do that? Let's go ahead and scoop that poop really quickly. And then, let's see. When it comes to our animals, to, we have n no donated animals. The reserve animals, I think, are the ones that... <gasps> the Transvaal lions just had Lucky be born! They were not wasting any time about it. Holy cow. The reserve animals are th ones I think we've, like, earned. And what can I do with our animals? So, let's see. Cookie is now old enough that... Whoa! <gasps> We've made it to level 32! We have the Rothschild Giraffe! That's so exciting! But Cookie is old enough to release to the wild or send to a reserve. Can I send a younger giraffe? Like Joe? I don't want to, but could we send him to a reserve? <gasps> we could! Okay! So I think if we sent him to a reserve, that would mean that we would actually get a chance... Or maybe... maybe to donate? Yeah, I think if we send them to a reserve then we get a chance to work with them in the future. So let's see, Cookie, let me go ahead and select you. Hmm, yeah, center reserve. 
so you can bring it to another zoo. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So if we wanted to send a gift of a baby giraffe or some of the other animals to another zoo that we owned, we would send it to the reserve. Uh, if we wanted to donate it, uh, that would be donating it to like another friend, which we don't want to do. Oh, she's nibbling on the tree. That's so cute. But instead, because Cookie is a wonderful elder, we're actually going to go ahead and release Cookie into the wild. Uh, and we're also going to go ahead and release Pandora into the wild and Hades into the wild. So three of our giraffes. We have, we've got the conservation achievement. That's so exciting. Oh, I'm gonna miss Hades so much. I really am. And we have a surprise animal ready now. It's ready at our reserve. Let's see if we can figure out what it is. Cause I would love to see. It's, it's another giraffe. <laughs> we have reticulated, reticulated, Nubian and South African. Okay, we actually, we actually have quite the mix of giraffes. I don't think we have the reticulated or the Nubian or the South African actually. That actually gives us a little start. I, I released giraffes to the wild and apparently we got our own gift of giraffes. That's kind of cool. All right, let's go ahead and add in now that we've released three of our wonderful elder giraffes to the wild, let's add in a new animal. As much as I love the giraffes, I really do want to see. Let's get a, a grass and fruit feeding station there. Let's get one here. Or a grass and leaves. And let's get a fruit feeding station. Good for giraffes and antelopes. Fruit's a little bit rich of a diet, but hopefully they'll enjoy it. What about vegetables? Uh, giraffes and antelopes. There, a nice varied diet. Let's go ahead and get, I think the stone bird cleaning station seems really nice. We'll get a couple of those put in. And then let's go ahead and get some enrichments added for the animals. We're going for antelopes and we're going for giraffes here. So activity center apparently they'll poke. Roped, ooh, the antelopes are like the rope toy. Let's do the engraved. Ooh, the vine wrapped plummel rope toy. <gasps> I love it. It's covered in vines. Of course I would love it. And then what else do giraffes and antelopes like? Let's see. Well, llamas, alpacas, antelopes kind of like the wading pool and somewhat giraffes somewhat do as well. So I think we'll do a little wading pool. So let's see, antelopes, antelopes, straws, which one should we do? Let's do this this cute one that has like a little bit of, ooh, actually I prefer this one right here. Hmm, but this one actually has a giraffe. The Painted Oasis one has a giraffe on it. Okay, we're actually gonna do that one. We already had it, but that's okay. And then let's do an activity center, just in case. Overgrown roller activity center. <gasps> Rolling stones activity center. I mean, they're kind of all the same, but they're just a teensy bit different. Just enough to make it interesting. And nobody, yeah, nobody here wants a scratching post. Nobody here could use a, uh, a climbing offense, that's for sure. All right, did we finish doing the research? The rolling stones, yes we did. There we go. Nice! All right, so we have got quite a bit all set up and we can add in some of the gifted giraffes that were donated to us. Uh, let's see. Okay, reserve animals, there we go. So which one? Let's go for Nubian. I don't, I don't think I have a Nubian giraffe. Like, can I even get a Nubian giraffe here? Ooh, quite uncommon in the area. Guests will appreciate it for both Nubian and reticulated. That... <gasps> The Rothschild! We can get the Rothschild now, my friends! That would be really exciting. I'm just, oh, I'm so easily tickled. Let's get the Nubian giraffe, I think, because it looks very lovely. We have a female that we can actually get. So let's go ahead and go to the reserve animals. We have Bessie, a female reticulated giraffe. So we'll go ahead and get her, or a female Nubian giraffe, pardon me. And then let's also get her giraffe nubian clive hmm excellent hopefully he will be a good mate and then we'll get little let's see katrina or nikki hmm let's get little baby nikki so she can kind of like stagger around and join all of them 
And then finally, let's get the Arabian Ornix Antelopes. <gasps> oh my gosh, they're expensive. And they're not available very often. Judith would be kind of lonely by herself. I might have to get like, I might have to move a couple of our sable antelopes. <laughs> will, will that count? What about, ooh, our gems brock. The gems brock are so pretty too. I might be able to pull that off. Let's let's do a little bit of gems brock research because apparently the Arabian Ornix antelope is very rare and very expensive, but maybe we can, we can populate this area with some of the others. So let's do it. We're gonna add her in. <gasps> we can get the South Central Black Rhino now! Oh my gosh! Okay, now we have no other species of Arabian uh, antelope that we can actually get, but we can adopt Lind and oh, Wentworth. Oh, I need an antelope whose name is Wentworth. Are you kidding me? We'll get Lynn and Wentworth, and then I think I actually have some sable antelopes, so let's actually move one of our sable antelopes. There's a lion about it exhibit. Where are my sable antelopes? Bushy bush book antelopes. Hmm. Grass and small. Tropical small. Oh, geez. We have empty things. We need to, like, start filling out. Are these my stables? Luna. Coco. No, these are my bush bucks. And they're very happy in their little area. And inside of the bush book exhibit, we have the rear one. Oh, gosh. I am just... I am just all a kimble and all, all in pieces. Where are my stable antelopes? I have a bunch of antelopes. I know I do. Oh, is this them? Hello? Hello, little friends. <gasps> it's them! Oh, and they're so cute. Here, Eris, I think I'm gonna go ahead. We'll move Eris, I think. All right, let's go ahead. We're gonna have him come and keep the other antelopes company. Let's make sure we're not putting him in the lion exhibit. That would be wonderful. And there we go, guys! Okay, so it took quite a bit of work to get everybody all settled in, but... Oh, Judith! Look at you! Oh, you glorious creature! I need to come in and get, like, a good picture of her. Because she is one of our newest and rarest animals, my friends. I know it's kind of hard to believe, but... Look at everybody come to see. Oh, wow! Wow! Look at her jump around! Oh, she definitely, even if she's the only one of her kind in here right now, she knows how to be the star of the show. Is she gonna come play with it? Hi! Oh, look at those birds! And hopefully she won't feel very lonely because we have added in so many other types of antelope. Oh, and the baby giraffes are frolicking the Nubian giraffes! We're moving one of our sable antelope. Whoops! to keep her company. I think everything is going to be okay. Yeah, she's spending a lot of time over there. We have the new, <gasps> look at you, look at your spots. Oh, my weakness, my love of baby giraffes is showing again, but that's good. Yeah, Judith is looking fantastic. I think she'll be fine. All right, Whew. well, as usual, that kept me extremely occupied and extremely busy. I just cannot believe how quickly time goes by when you're keeping- Oh, one of the giraffes is feeding! When you're just trying to keep up with the basics. Look at- oh, Did you see that? That was just like when I went to see Dixie, the little baby, reacting to the antelope. Wait! I don't think that's my- Hmm? Hmm! I need to really take a bit of an assessment of which animals I have in here. Because <laughs> those two are definitely the same species. So it's not my super rare antelope. Interesting. All right. Well, we've got a lot to do, guys. We have got a lot to do. And I do want to get to the point where we can start getting maybe a little tower of some of the rarest of the giraffes, the Rothschild, and send it to a new zoo so that we can really start adding in some very special animals to our beautiful zoo as well. And how is that new little baby lion cub? Oh my gosh, the Transvaal lions are doing fantastic. I can see the new baby. Little Lucky! Oh, look at her go. She's just adorable. This is awesome. But all right, oh, look at her go. Oh, she's so cute. Oh, and I see one of the, the little hidden coins that I need to take a picture of again. 
But all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you could, do please leave a like to toss a treat to our mini animals. Keeping up with them is definitely keeping me on my feet. If you would like to join us for this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.